Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I do? Can I take one second? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, please, sir. Uh, it is a great pleasure in welcoming the participants and the organizer, Mr. Mohan Raj, as well as the persons who are going to give a very good talk, Mr. Fernando Raymond and Mr. Dinesh Kumar. I welcome you all. I am very happy that Mr. Mohan Raj has organized such a great international webinar for the benefit of our students and the faculty. It is a great one. I, I welcome you once again for this seminar, international webinar, sorry, international webinar. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Mohan Raj. I once again welcome Fernando Sar and Dinesh Kumar. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, uh, sir, uh, yeah. let, uh, let me give some introduction about the guest speaker. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, so, hello everyone. On behalf of uh, KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore, uh, good evening for the participants from India and happy afternoon for the guest speakers and his team from London, UK. I am happy and honored to welcome our principal, Dr. M. Akila, head of all departments, uh, below department colleagues, internal, external student, student community, inter interested faculty members from all over India. Last but not least, our guest speakers, Mr. Fernando Raymond, CEO Click2 and Sika Post London, and Dinesh Kumar, PM, uh, Digital Marketing Strategist, Click2. I, I would like to introduce today's first guest speaker, Mr. Fernando Raymond. He completed Master of Science in Management at University of Worcester, United Kingdom in 2011. After a year in 2012, he started his career as co-founder and e-business consultant at Futurist Business. In 2013, he took up a new role as business data analyst in Koito, specialized in data analysis. In the same year, he started the number one SEO agency in London, Click2. Followed by, in 2015, he additionally founded the web hosting services company, Sika Host, uh, currently, he is looking after Click2, Sika Host, and much more. His vast experience in ranking top for the keywords like SEO Consultant London, SEO Agency London were known by most of the SEO community all over the world. Now, uh, let me uh, introduce our second speaker, guest speaker, Mr. Dinesh Kumar VM, Digital Marketing Manager, Click2 London, UK. He is also holding the role of digital marketing consultant at Sika Host, the leading hosting provider. He completed his bachelor's degree from KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore, India, and he is highly noted for his SEO ranking skills. Over to the guest speaker, Mr. Fernando Raymond and Dinesh Kumar Viam. Hello, everyone. So. Um... Me and Dinesh are here. Thanks for the introduction, Mohan Raj, and uh, everything, uh, giving the opportunity to share our knowledge and expertise uh, about the international SEO and how to actually use a concept called private blog networks to succeed in SEO in 2021. So this presentation, we will start with going through what is SEO basically to give an understanding if somebody is a beginner into SEO and we will break it down to SEO, the concept, the paid SEO, as well as the organic SEO, right? And then we will reach to explain about the private blog network. So that way you will understand it very well. Where are these private blog network come? It's actually a blog. Some of you guys probably know about what is a blog and it's, a, it's almost like a website, but we're gonna show it to you how in the SEO, international SEO, top SEO consultants, especially in the United Kingdom, we're based in the United Kingdom, working with the hundreds of clients, uh, our click to agency. So how these private blog networks are used, and then also as a student, how you can learn these concepts and start building your blogs and, and plan for your, if you think of a career or else you want to do it as a hobby, uh, like blogging and the SEO things. So this will be very helpful. Also, it will be explaining to you some resources and given you some free trainings, which you can go in depth because in this presentation, we will not be able to go through uh, the very technical aspects of showing how to do it, but we will cover the theory and give you the best 
explanation about the private block network and how the SEO works. So uh, me and Dinesh are here. Dinesh uh, is also here. So uh, yep. let me actually get started with the what is SEO optimization. Basically, SEO optimization is trying to get higher ranking. So one, one more thing, we are going to explain to you about Google is Google search engine because that's the the most used search engine in the world and other search engines are very less search and also their algorithms are not that very well used in the united kingdom and these countries when it comes to local businesses and people ranking on 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 the on the web so what is search optimization so it's basically trying to get optimizing a website to get this higher rank so whenever you are looking for a college or you're looking for a product or service or else you're trying to learn something you will put in that query to the google and search it so where would you click most probably you're going to click to the number one top three four ranks i mean basically being on the first page is what's going to get the website to have a chance to get a click and land that visitor and provide with information so the 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 core of search optimization is ranking higher on google and being visible for the potential users visitors to that particular website so there are two parts of doing that paid as well as organic so and uh, and why business needs that then again explaining so if a business offering some service or a product they need to be higher ranking b and this top area over here to get the potential click because in countries like united kingdom hundreds and thousands of businesses are competing for the same same product and service they are offering they want to land uh, the users in their website to try to sell them try to educate them so it's very important for a business website to rank higher as possible especially on the first page top three to five results organically or paid on the search engine so they will land the potential visitor which might buy which might uh, inquire about a service like develop a relationship about down the line buying something so that's why business websites it's very important to rank high on the search engine so google handles around 3.8 million searches per minute which is really big and around 5.6 billion searches per day across the globe the the biggest search engine which handles the the biggest amount of searches every single day and a minute wise so as a business owner it's very important that their business website rank higher it's not just a business even if it is a university or a college or else a doctor or a dentist or whoever just want to provide their service and the offering to a potential market they need to be visible higher up on the search engine so they can attract that user or the visitor and provide with whatever they have to provide to that uh, particular market segment and uh, be, uh, before so there are two concepts of seo one is organic seo one is paid ppc google ads which is the google's business model which is the main thing that google makes money which we in a bit we will show it to you so try to understand organic you try to use the things like private blog networks which are about to explain in the upcoming slides it's it's a cost effective strategy like especially if you are a student if you are a starting business owner even myself when i was starting seo consultancy back then i use organic seo this is what i use uh, for until uh, for a long time because paid paid google ads is quite expensive how it works is you basically paid like basically this is a paid ad and this organic ad if you pay and if you pay the highest price you will be here on the top but it costs so if your landing page is bad if the competition is offering for much cheaper and things like that it's going to be uh taking a cost so let me give dinesh who is the specialist in uh, paid concept paid uh, paid advertisements in uh, click do to explain a little bit thorough about the paid before i jump back again to organic dinesh yeah yes Fernando. so hello everyone so this is dinesh so uh, Fernando, give a good, give, have a good information about like uh, introduction about the SEO and like why Google is the most used search engine all over the world by the normal users. So now I will show like what's the difference between the organic SEO and Google, uh, paid campaign. So there is a huge difference between that. So that is how Google makes money, and that's how Google offers its search engine 
uh, as a free resource for all the users around the world. So I'll uh, show in live results. So I'll just take out the screen sharing. Nish, you can share the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing. So do you see my screen? Uh, we are not seeing what. Ah, yes, we are seeing your screen now. Yeah. So uh, this is the difference between organic SEO and paid Google Ads. Organic SEO is the way of uh, optimizing the website uh, organically and ranking in top search results. For example, uh, if you are having a web college website, uh, let's take a KPR as an example. So they have a the, college. Uh, Dinesh, yeah. excuse me. Are you sharing the PowerPoint or the uh, Google? Uh, PowerPoint. Oh, okay, you're still talking. So I was yeah, thinking yeah. we're, we're going to share that yeah. one. So yeah. So uh, let's take a uh, simple example. So if you go and search for best engineering colleges in Coimbatore, if you see, if you rank KPR IT as a number one in Google, it's organic SEO. Like there are a lot of hard work to be done to rank like that. But on the other hand, you can easily promote by using Google AdWords and show it in the top. The different, there's a difference between these two things. So I'll show in a real time example. The screen which you are seeing at the moment, uh yeah this is the two difference between google ads and the organic results so if you search for like this particular keyword partial dentures cost uk uh, the number one ranking thing is the ad you can see there's a small notation uh, notified by google as ad so this is the google ad result which is promoted purposely and shown for this particular keyword on the other hand this this website naturalsements.co.uk this is a organic search results which is ranked number one by doing SEO, proper SEO. So this is the difference between these two ranks. So you can ask me now, like what is the advantage of ranking here and what is the advantage of uh, showing uh, ads purposely? So if you rank here, there is no cost involved. Basically, you no need to pay anything for Google if user clicks on the search results and lands on your website. On the other hand, if the user clicks on this particular search results to land on this website, then you need to pay to Google for each click. For example, if I'm searching for this particular keyword partial dentures cost UK, and if I'm uh, clicking on this first result, I'm landing on this particular website Polydent, then that Polydent uh, will pay to Google a particular amount. For example, uh, maybe 30 rupees or 40 rupees per click. So this is how Google functions. Even in real time, I'll show you one example. So I'm going to Google, uh, even I can search for the same keyword. So partial dentures cost UK. So maybe it's not showing, this is the organic search results. So if I click here, Google will not take any money from this naturalsmiles.co.uk. This is purely organic uh, organic rank results. So on the other hand, if I go to Google again, okay, it does not show any ads. Okay. Let me go for some other keyword. Yeah, so in this keyword, you can see first results is ad and the followed by organic search results. Both are promoted by Amazon. So here the difference is that if I click on first link, amazon.in, then uh, Amazon will pay particular amount to Google for that particular one click. On the other hand, if I click on this organic result, Amazon no need to pay for the Google. So in this case, since both are Amazon, it's not, uh, it's not an issue. Like they, since they need to dominate the market, they are ranking number one. Also, they are uh, running ads for that particular keyword. On the other hand, uh, maybe I will show you one real time example. Like, also, let me jump and uh, tell something about it. What Dinesh just said. Like, so one more reason why businesses like to do organic and paid is basically depending on the location and the area, results could be different. So you saw yeah. Amazon was ranking number one organically plus the ad. However, from some, some other location, Amazon might show up on number three or five, which they might miss the organic click. So that's why they're actually doing the, the paid as well, right? So that's just, yes. I'll uh, show one more real time example. So you can able to get a clear idea. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, I have searched for this particular keyword, pest control London. So here you can see like first four results are ad, Google ads. So even if I click any one of these results, then this one particular company will need to pay for Google for each click. So on the other hand, if you move down, 
you can see the organic search results. So you can hear, see these are the organic search results. So if I click on this particular link, then this company doesn't need to pay for Google because they're uh, ranking organically and they're not promoting. So this is the difference between Google AdWords and the organic SEO. So as a business people, uh, if you rank organically like this, then you have more advantage and you save more money not promoting it like purposely like this. So the, uh, on the other hand, say if you're starting a new business, so uh, when it comes to SEO, it may take like four to five months to rank your website. So in that four to five months, if you want to promote your new business and get some business deals, then during that time, you can run this kind of ads. So anyway, you need to invest uh, for making money. So this is how Google makes more money. So for example, if I click here, then maybe one hour, uh, 50 rupees or 60 rupees this particular company need to pay to google for the click which i made and landed on this website so this is the difference between google adwords and the organic seo so moving forward in this presentation so we will uh, show you like how google adwords work how organic seo works in real time so let me move on to the next thing so so hope uh, everyone is aware of uh, aware of the if difference anybody between... have any questions i mean mohan can, yeah. Mohan Raj can decide if they want to ask any questions, but we will, we can even continue the first se sessions. Uh, yeah, if anybody wants Mohan uh, questions, yeah. you can take anything because at the moment, what we covered was basically organic and or, or, uh, paid uh, SEO. And yeah. through that, we are trying to reach to private blog networks where it's a part of organic SEO. Yes. So if anyone has any questions, we are happy to take the queries and uh, move forward with the presentation. Or else, yeah, okay. It looks like uh, still not. Let's jump in into uh, the next part, really, Dinesh. Uh, and yeah, uh, sure. like, uh, and then we'll take it over to the, the PBN yeah. uh, level. Exactly. Yeah, so. So I'll uh, move forward, like I'll uh, slightly tell in more detail, like how paid campaigns work. So when it comes to paid campaigns, there are three uh, three kind of uh, cat uh, categorized users involved. One is advertiser. Advertiser in the sense that is the business people or a business owner who is owning the website, who is going to promote his or uh, his website in Google. Uh, second one is the user. User is the normal user who searches for something in Google and just clicks on the ad and lands on this particular website. On the other hand, Google is the publisher. Like they are going to show your ads for the particular users. So combining these three people only, like Google environment works and they uh, make uh, money so here i will show you in real time like how this how to promote such uh, such ads so as mentioned earlier i told like if any user clicks on this any one link then this particular company need to pay to google so the users who are watching now may not have any idea like how the back end looks like so i'm going to show you the uh, real back end of the google adwords dashboard so i'm going to show one of my clients uh, and i'll explain it So I'm uh, now taking into, uh, taking into the Google AdWords dashboard. This is where you can able to promote your website and uh, show ads to the users. The reason for whoever watching this one, we are showing all these uh, to you just to give a, try to, to cover up the real marketing concept of how the Google search optimization works really, all right? These things we are showing, but we will be giving you access to some of the free courses we have. So anybody who wish to learn in detail and really master this, we will give you the links to just to uh, learn it for free. We have Dinesh have covered all these in detail videos, how to create an ad, how to understand a market segment, all those things. So uh, don't get lost. We are just try to watch it and get the inspiration now. Mm -hmm. And but at the end of the course, we will uh, webinar we will give you access to all the courses completely free of charge uh, you can uh, go through learn if you further want to improve your knowledge yeah uh, so this is one of our client which i'm managing in london and uh, basically they are running ads to get customers to their website so for example if i go to google and search for circumcision in london uh, some ads will pop up so you can see there are some ads popping up so like this, I'm I'm promoting one of our clients to showcase their ad. So here you can see this is how the backend looks like. So in the past seven days, uh, I'll show the last week data so you'll have a better idea.
So this is the organic results and this is the uh, paid result. Yeah, so you can see like in the screen, you are seeing the past seven days data of this particular campaign, which I am running for the circumcision in London client. So you can see like in the past seven days, they have spent like 197 pounds in Google AdWords and got like 296 clicks. So here you can see like for each click, they have spent 0, uh, 0.67 pounds. So uh, 0.67 in the sense, if uh, their ads will be appearing here for this keyword. And if the user clicks, then uh, the circumcision in London company will pay to Google like 0.67 pounds for each click. So this is the simple portfolio, like how Google makes money and how business use uh, owners can uh, utilize this uh, platform to get more uh, business for their thing. And also like, I will show you like what kind of keywords they have received clicks. So you can see like for a circumcision uh, clinic, they have received like 51 clicks and they have spent 34 pounds in last seven days. So this is like, uh, I'm showing the reason for I'm showing this is that you will get a quick idea like how actually the Google AdWords functions. So this is the thing like you can see like for circumcision London, they have spent like uh, 15 pounds and received 24 clicks in the past seven days. So in the impressions in the sense like uh, 2500 times like their ads are shown in the Google, like around only maybe 300 times the users have clicked on that uh, ad results. So I, I believe like the people who are watching now, now I've got a clear idea between the Google AdWords results and the organic uh, results. See, uh, pr promoting in Google AdWords, you are spending this much. On the other hand, if you rank here, then you need to spend zero uh, amount to get clicks. The clicks which you receive from the organic results is absolutely free from Google, but a lot of strategic SEO work to be done to rank for this kind of search terms. Yeah, that's, that's the thing really. So it's good to rank organically. However, if, you're, if it's a business, which can afford both, it's, it's advisable to do both, right? But the organic thing is where the, you can get the clicks, it doesn't cost you, once you rank on the first page, and if you can be on the top three, four, five positions, it's pretty much good. So that's why um, this, the private blog networks, the guest posting service, this, this evolved in the SEO community for people to find ways to rank organically at a much lower cost rather paying every click so that's why this private blog network seo concept came i've been using it from uh, 2014 like so it was actually much easier but google found ways google because google's preferred strategy is paid module really paid one because that's where they actually make the money right however paid thing is not affordable by a new startup, a new business, a new blogger or a person who want to get started then ranking on the top. So it's not easy, right? So that's why organic is important. And if you can learn as it shows how the CEO works. So uh, let, let me, uh, Dinesh, so anything else to cover on the, the paid or? Uh, yes, I... you can take over, Fernando. Yeah, let me um, share my screen now again for you. And um, My screen is shared and uh, so yeah so Dinesh explained this one and I hope you guys got a full understanding of how the paid campaigns work then again what we want to say if you're interested after this one you can learn it further just ask even Dinesh we will send the links are there so you can learn this skill it's very learnable skill very very important skill if anybody is thinking to get into the digital marketing career so as you guys know, now you guys have a good understanding of how this SEO pretty much works, right? And then it comes down to, this is the basically the, the main concept of organic SEO, trying to rank a website as shown um, in the organic level, right? So to rank here, you need to get these parts right. So there are two things, even on organic SEO, which is the on page SEO, which is building the site right with the title tags, meta descriptions, URL slugs, and all these things getting into play. It's like building a, let's say an SEO is like a hotel. If you build your hotel perfectly, on page SEO is like the interior, your, your presentation of the hotel, the colors, everything. People, when they come, they tend to stay more, and also they might go and tell to other people. And the off page SEO is basically 
this link building PBN backlinks, which is about private blog network, is creating awareness. So your your college is there, right? Off page SEO is basically promotions and creating awareness for people to start coming and experiencing that particular place. In this case, in the web, it's a website. So off page SEO does like a press release, social media marketing, and uh, this thing about private blog networks is a part of link building, which is to give reference to Google bots. This website is in this particular subject. It's a good website, these things, right? So on page SEO has these factors as well as off page SEO has, has the factors. So all these things are covered for you to learn, which is I will be giving after this one, a, uh, per personally done SEO training course completely. You all can go through all the videos about each and every topic I had covered, but just try to remember what I just told you right now. And then if you're interested, go through those videos, you will be seeing exactly how it's 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 done. So uh, then again, so just a little bit of a understanding for you, which is also very important when it comes to private blog network, set up the, the on-page SEO factors thing. So the private blog network, which its core job is to create PBN backlinks. However, that private blog network blogs has to be built with perfect on-page SEO. The title tag, the URL slugs getting, the meta description, because these are the very first things which you can actually see on Google when you run a search query. And that's what the Google bots uh, check when they're about to pick any website and if the website is in the perfect standard. So. And then the off-page SEO is involved in publishing content and it, which is supporting the link building. So in SEO, these two things are there in the off-page, which is a link building. Link building means creating awareness. So, you know, you can see if you write a paper, you do references. That references actually justify another particular paper or a book. And, and the, the content on this is being referenced by the another source so that that concept is what you're trying to understand that's exactly how the google works so if you have a particular website and if other websites actually reference it more often like like you can see the citations like when you do uh, your masters or your the bachelor's degree thesis or you will have to reference other peer review articles in the in the on the web it's actually other people's websites, older website. They have to reference a particular website that, okay, this website is in this particular topic and this website is on this particular topic, really. So, for example, okay, this one is uh, PPC Consultant London. So, for it to rank over here, this keyword, if you Google right now, you can see Dinesh is actually ranking in a particular page on the Seekers website. It has been referenced, which means build backlinks, mostly from guest posting as well as private blog networks, referencing, stating this is the particular website, PPC Consultant London, which is a Google AdWords uh, consultant, right? So I hope you understand that one. It's, it's like referencing. So on the web, there are a lot of millions of websites. When a new website goes up, say a business website, it has to be referenced by other external website, other websites on the web with backlinks, which is a reference like this. You all you probably have seen on a web page. If I uh, let me show you, and even we so, can share, show the like that particular London economic blog. If you search, yeah, like so, let me um, let me share the screen. Uh, can just Google for click do London economic that particular blog will pop up. Yeah. So uh, if I come to this page. Uh, I'll actually show you one of the websites really. So London Business News, this is one of our websites really. So you can see it's ranking uh, number three over here organically. If you come to this particular website, this is actually a private blog network, what you are seeing. I'm just going to quickly show it to you before I explain to you about the private blog network much further. This is a, a private blog owned by ClickDo, built by Dinesh and the team. And you can see this website has references to other websites. So we, as Dinesh previously show, we work with a lot of dentists uh, in SEO that Dinesh show how dentists rank uh, them. So you can see we are giving these references, see, for this particular website. So we are giving references. You need more reference. So likewise, in a paper, 
the paper to be good, you need to have a lot of references from valid sources saying this subject is right and this is communicated, This the source of information is uh, justified. So likewise on a web, these are the references. So if I click this, it goes to this particular website, it's most probably one of our client sites. And likewise, this referencing to be done is what we create uh, private blog networks. So uh, I hope this got a little bit of understanding for you. Let me go back and actually explain to you about the referencing part. And uh, let me... So yeah, that's that's the core of off page SEO. How the Google Verse works in basic understanding. If I had to tell you, you build a website perfectly with perfect on page SEO. That means you're building the hotel or your house right in a manner when a person comes, they want to stay. Off page SEO is basically creating a lot of awareness and get, gaining references in the on the web. References means it's it's backlinks. You need to get backlinks. With, with the references, with anchor text, pointing at that particular web page, stating this web page is about a SEO consultant. This web page is about a dentist. So uh, this is the thing. Let us go and now jump into the using the private blog networks for SEO. So when it comes to creating backlinks, which is references you just saw, if your website is popular, if your website is good, other people are going to organically, other people are going to backlink your website, refer, refer to it. However, when you are a new web business, new website, if you're just starting out, that's not the case really. Everybody, everybody likes to link to a website which is a brand and it's thriving on the Google first page. But if it's a new startup, new business owner, if it's a new blogger, just say you're just starting your own personal blog, but you want to write about... Um, um, IT technology. Nobody's going to link to you until you are showing up on the first page and kind of climbing and your, your articles have been, been um, like shared and things like that. So that's why the, the private blog network concept came. It's been there for a while. I first got to start with private blog networks in 2014, which is actually building our own blogs, which is building the blogs as you just saw. These are some of the blogs uh, we will be showing to you. This is business blog. If you go to businessblog.co.uk, even right now while you're watching the presentation, if you have a mobile or a desktop uh, PC, you can go and see. These are some of the live businessblog.com, I do business.co.uk. All these blogs are actually built by Dinesh, managed by the Dinesh and the, his uh, uh, team at Click. These are all private blog networks, right? And uh, these private blog networks are used to influence the organic SEO, which is there is a myth by people thinking, oh, is it okay to do if it is organic? Like you have to do SEO, like you, it's about content marketing. So this private block network SEO falls into content marketing. You need to do marketing until you grow and people get to know that. So that's where the private block network comes all about it. It, it stands upon you building an amazing blog, putting proper content using the the thing called expired domains. Let me explain to you why you actually, when you're building a private blog network, what you need really. So this is the science of it, right? So it's just not a normal blog, this private blog network. It's actually built using old domains, which you can, if you go to seekhost.com, this, this page is actually, if you go to expired domain, there's another URL, right? So this is also a page, you can see some information, but, uh, expired domains which are dropped by other people so for example say like the uh, one of the brand uh, bloggers or a business owner's website they drop the domain and they never renew it so to create a private lot network people use those expired domains the reason is those expired domains have a power of backlinks right so let me actually quickly uh, show you the the backlinks concept and uh, you get to understand uh, we will uh, how actually it actually works really so this particular domain was an expired domain so this was uh, picked by one of our ico consultants at clickdo then just start brought forward and start building by 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 dinesh really so if i to come here so i will show you this domain so these are tools in the market there are SCMA rush href yeah. Two of the main tools we use to look at the power of a domain. So you can see this domain has uh, over 700 backlinks and 100 referring domain. So what happened? This was expired domains. 
we got this domain, we registered it, and then we ended up building an, uh, a private block, which actually has the power to pass on because this has been an old domain in the web. So it has been gaining a lot of authority. And that's why you, you saw that how easy it was ranking for the keyword London Business News, which is a competitive keyword. So this is a private blog, London Business News. You all can just Google right now, London Business News, go to londonbusiness.com, get a good idea about it. Also, I have a good idea article published a few days back. What is a private blog? What is private blog network SEO? which will really go into deep about the, the theory part of a private blog network. If you want to really further advance your knowledge, I recommend you re read this article, then it will give you further ideas because this is a private blog network actually, and you're reading this article, you will get an understanding. So uh, let me go back and uh, show to the presentation. And uh, so that's why you use expired domains, which are the drop domains, which has some power in it when, when building the private blog network. So there are places you can go to these particular URLs and read further. I will give you this presentation after this one. And uh, now let's look at actually, I explained to you a little bit of expired domains. The expired domain is like a, let me tell you to in a very easy way to understand. So say there is a shop in the road or another business um, in the town, in your town. Right, so that business was very established. It's Papa John's, say, Papa John's uh, Furnitures. So that business was there. However, the owner just decided to sh shut it down and just, just drop it there and leave it or something, right? So somebody came and buy this expired domain or in the sense Papa John's Furniture. It's already a known brand, a known business. It's a known domain, really, right? So people in the Google size, in this case, they have gained the trust so likewise, if it is a physical business, that's the concept, really. People already know it. People trust it. So whoever the new buyer of that particular shop is having a competitive advantage where people will come and quickly start getting the business. Likewise, it's the same concept that works um, in the expired domain uh, market. When somebody drops an expired domain, if it is a good domain, people buy it to build a private blog network. So further, you can read it over here in this page. Also, if you have any questions, if this video was uploaded, also Karuna, on your... I think we can take some questions, like if, if anything. Yeah. Is the, is, how, how, can we take some questions, Mohan Raj? Otherwise, uh, I'm... Uh, Let's make the yeah. session interactive. Uh, we yeah. can take the questions, sir. Yeah, let's take some questions because otherwise we are going very detailed. Yeah. Uh, we got a question from Rajesh Kanna. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Uh, how to rank my website? Uh, what keyword uh, I want to use? Uh, can you give any example like that? Yeah, I will. Uh, I will answer this. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, his question is to uh, how to find the best keywords for a particular business, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me share my screen. Do ask whether he has a website already. If so, you can even analyze yeah. that website live if Rajesh has a website. So did, uh, Rajesh, can you drop your website if you have any? So I will uh, find the keyword for that particular website. You can directly ask the question, sir. Uh, you are provided with access to ask the questions. Okay. So I'll just take over this. So, so basically, we uh, there are lots of free tools available uh, in Google to find the keyword volume, search volume. Search volume in the sense, for example, if you take any keyword, like basically engineering colleges in Coimbatore, for that particular keyword, there will be a particular number of searches each month that users are doing. For example, there may be 1,000 searches each month that users are searching for that particular keyword. So to find that search volume, there are lots of tools available in Google, and one of the such tools is Ahrefs. So I'll uh, show you with real-time example. Uh, so in the, in the meantime, Rajesh can drop his website. I think. Uh, if Rajesh can even drop it. We can even have a look. No, Rajesh I think he, do, he doesn't have any website. So okay. Getting, yeah. yeah. So I will uh, share with one of our client website. So we have a client called, uh, in UK, we have a client called Natural Smiles. So they offer all kinds of dental treatments like cosmetic dentistry, general dentistry, those kind of keywords, sorry, treatments. So for this uh, particular website, if I'm doing the keyword research, I need to rank for all these search terms. Of course, that is the goal. But the, I need to find like which keyword has more searches comparing to uh, other keywords. So for example, if you take teeth whitening, you can just go for like, 
in uh, ahf there is an option called keyword explorer in that can just straight straight away drop the keyword teeth whitening and it will show like how many searches are there in uk like you can see like the around 85000 searches are around in uh, people are searching in uk each month for this particular keyword so that is the thing and also this tool will also show like what are the relevant keywords not only this keyword is the target not the target term there are tons of keywords related to this particular term which you need to rank for for example how much is teeth whitening in uk this particular keyword has like 1500 searches each month from uk so if you go to google like if you search for this particular keyword like uh, there will be tons of search results and you can see there are again google ads results are coming and we are already ranked this particular client for this keyword so this is how like based on the business service what you are offering you can either use this kind of tools to find the search volume so basically ahf is a paid tool as a startup or as a beginner in the blogging or seo field if you need to use free tools there are many tools uh, in google like uber suggest so this is one of the tool which i suggest you to use because this is the free tool you can uh, the data may not be accurate because the, these are the free third party tools you can use this uber suggest or you can, if you have good enough to go with ahf you can just go with this kind of tools so you can see like we are already ranked for this particular keyword number 1 our client so this this is by organic search results it's already ranking in future snippet and if you go above you can already see there are people running ads and if i click here they obviously need to pay this around this amount to google for each click so this is the uh, difference between the organic and paid and this is the keywords uh, explorer uh, tool which you can use on the, like uber suggest there is one more tool called google keyword planner so this is official tool by google even you can use this particular tool to find the search volume for each keyword based on the location so here i have targeted uk like this you can based uh, you can target any any location in the world and to get particular search volume for that particular keywords so this is how like uh, you can find the best keyword for your based on your business website so this is how it functions yeah yeah i hope uh, rajesh got an answer for that because uh, yeah rajesh like uber suggest i'll be i mean it's it's okay to use of course after three times search you have to go for a paid yeah. plan but as a student i know it could be tough for you but some of those tools that's how they need to make money to to run their business to provide this so, yeah, so i don't uh, think uber suggest is much expensive but as dinesh showed the keyword planner is a fine tool yeah there's one use. more question like uh, is there any free tool to use keyword explorer so google keyword planner is absolutely free Yeah. Uh, you can use that uh, particular tool to uh, find the search volume because it may be accurate because it's official tool by Google, so yeah. you can use Google Keyword Planner. It's 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 a fine tool to use, and also you can practice it. There are enough videos on YouTube about how to use the tool. It's not much of a hard tool. That's the tool that I used first when I was starting to be honest when I was doing SEO, and I didn't want to pay it. Right. So uh, yeah, and then we have a uh, Arun Kumar's question. Should so should I use PBN for creating backlinks? Exactly. That's the primary purpose of it. Right. So uh, there there comes a part is about monetizing PBNs, but you use PBNs to creating backlinks. So. Sai is asking um, keyword suggestion for an arts and science college in India. Dinesh, can you tell him? Yeah, definitely. I will even show in live. So basically, they, he he's trying to rank for a really competitive term. I believe like arts and science college in India. It's target is competing with all the colleges in India, uh, SEO wise. Yeah. So even we can uh, change the location to India here. I'm directly dropping the keyword here. so you can see like this particular keyword arts and science college has like 1000 uh, plus searches each month so uh, this is rankable of course and uh, if you run google ads then of course you need to spend at least minimum of like 1.7 dollars to get one click uh, from google on the other hand if you rank organically then of course this 1000 uh, visitors are going to uh, land on your website for free but you need to work hard in the seo field to like to rank for this kind of keywords even in this tool i will show you like what are the websites actually ranking for this particular term currently so you can see like familiar college psg cas is at the moment ranking number 1 in google uh, for this uh, particular keyword arts and science college so second is the krishna arts college is ranking followed by uh, some more universities 
so basically in this ahs triple show the like what are the college like uh, websites currently ranking in top 10 for this keyword anyway you can uh, go to google and search and find but this data may be more than accurate and it will show like you need to uh, do lot of stuffs so this is one of the thing and this is the core keyword which the uh, the people are searching but followed by you can see like this is the brand value that this particular college have like you can see in india like the users are normally searching like using their brand name itself like like 11000 searches so this is uh, their brand authority like psg college they have built such a brand authority like normally users are searching like their brand like each month 11000 searches are coming to their college name in google so in same way for other college so but if you need to rank for this particular keyword then you need to uh, update the on page content according to that particular keyword maybe you need to for example i will show in real time so uh, i'm going maybe i will uh, go like this arts and science colleges in coimbatore college so you can see at the moment like uh, this directory websites are ranking you can see all these are directory website but this kongnod college is ranking somewhat uh, in the first page like in the top 5 results so if you take here like this keyword they need to input uh, in the simple words they need to make the on page seo perfect on page seo in the sense they need to have the title tag meta description and the url perfectly optimized to support this keyword so if you take they need to add uh, somewhat embed this particular search term in their title tag and in uh, meta description you can see they are already done that you can see arts and science college coimbatore they have they have this keyword in the title tag so also they have that particular keyword in the meta description so this is one of the advantage that they are ranking uh, already in the number one but this is just uh, 10% rise of the uh, entire seo still they need to have proper backlinks uh, to support this keyword proper off page seo press release needs to be done to rank for this particular keyword hope this is clear for uh, that particular keyword and someone is just asking how much money i need to promote my particular website to reach more audience i mean it comes as a part of paid and it depends really it depends with the niche and uh, and it depends with uh, the competitiveness um, of the markets uh, other competing websites so all comes down to so when you say you want to promote it if it is paid and organic organic seo takes time and paid of course it depends with different as you did not show just right now for arts and science colleges likewise so as a part of a business to share to you can see at $1.70 per click if you want to promote it and get 100 clicks you need to spend $170 so the budgets are very diverse right and yeah somebody rajesh is asking another question 301 redirect yeah what what do you want to know about the 301 redirect rajesh so uh, yes we do 301 redirects i will actually i do that one so um, what do you want to know about 302 what is 301 redirect or you want to know about should you do so 301 redirect is basically you using a powerful expired domain or else a particular page which is ranking and redirecting into a another new page or a page that is not ranking to gain that ranks it really works don't overdo it but i've done it and i'll do that and there are plugins if you're using a wordpress site uh, called the 301 redirect which uh, you can be using as i've been covering it on this your training course uh, rajesh which you will get access after this presentation then you can really dive deep about it yeah. and uh, sarina ask how to promote as a organic seo if i run a business so uh zarina I, think, I will answer yeah. this yeah, actually okay. like promoting uh, it's uh, doing organic seo it's not a overnight job it takes time and it's lot of uh, back end works to be done for example uh, previously i i showed one of my client keyword like how we rank for that particular uh, dentist client it's not done within like uh, overnight or within uh, one month it took like 3 to 4 months entirely uh, you know i'll show you that yeah this website it took like nearly 4 to 5 months to achieve such results so uh, when it comes to seo like you need to be investing uh, some amount of man time and money in that and you need to rely on the pr particular uh, proper seo consultant to rank a keyword because once you rank the website then obviously you you, you are going to get lot of businesses for organically absolutely free uh, of cost so if you take this particular website i will just say a real time example like 
how this particular natural smiles is saving money from google adwords rather than uh, on the other hand they are in, of course investing in seo but investment in seo like how they are saving in uh, in google ads i will show in real time so for example now uh, this website i'll show like what are the ranking positions they currently have like you can see like th this is the ranking position for composite bonding cost uk they have like uh, normally there are 4200 searches each month and they are ranking number 1 same way dental implants cost it's like 6000 searches and they are ranking number 4 how much is composite so bonding it has like 1500 and they are ranking number 1 so this all these keywords they are organically ranking number 1 and we rank them in past like 6 months work on the other hand if they need to invest in seo like for each click they need to uh, they need to get for this particular keyword they need to spend minimum like 2.5 dollars so you can imagine so you ranking number 1 will get you like free clicks free 4000 clicks on the other hand if you need to run ads for this uh, particular keyword for each click you need to spend 2.5 dollars so imagine like you how much money you need to pay to google to showcase the ads so even i'll show you real time like how this website is getting traffic right now so uh, this is the google analytics like this analytics will show you like number of visitors you get to the website so i'll take you to the back end of this natural smiles website and how you, uh, how like they are getting more visitors so basically i will go to the natural smiles google analytics data so this is the yeah. benefit of uh, having like uh, just show um, uh, your uk business list or something dinesh yeah I, I i got it yeah so you can see like this is the analytics data and this is the real time data so i'm going to show you the real time data so it's just loading yeah you can see like nearly like uh, around 11 users are uh, right now in the natural smiles website from uk so this 11 users are purely organically you can see like the count may go up and down if i enter this website it will uh, my count will be added here so right now you can see like around 10 people or uh, 10 users are in this particular website on in this particular uh, web pages like dental crown cost one or three users are there uh, in this composite bonding page one of the users are there and you can see all the users are uh, from the uk location even you can this uh, google analytics data will show you like where the users are coming from so the, for this 10 users you are absolutely getting free for your website now since you are ranking organically number one on the other hand if you are not doing seo and you are not your website is not in the top search results in google for each of this web, website visitor you need to pay three dollar four dollar so you can see if you need to land 10 uh, users you need to of course spend like 40 to 50 dollars to get this uh, pay to google to land this with visitors but ranking organically this is the advantage you of course get these visitors absolutely free and they are going to inquire you inquire you and book a, a like business so this is the added advantage yeah yeah so actually because we are, we were running the out of the time so there are a couple of questions but quickly let's go back and uh, uh, like uh, to the presentation and we 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 uh, take over that part and finish it and and again we will be coming back to take your questions really right so yes, no, you can take over the presentation i took over the presenting and um, so i hope you all really got a good understanding by now what is this uh, how seo works where the private blog network seo comes which is a part of on page seo like uh, part of organic seo and benefits of using expired domains i explained to you they have seo benefits the the backlink profile is stronger domain authority is higher and the niche relevancy like a whole business which is left but somebody who take over and bought it has a competitive advantage because it's it's already an established uh, uh, business so likewise an established domain can quickly power up and pass on this your power to the particular websites that it backlinks so these are some of the domains that you all can go and see really well built uh, all the blo blogs are built by uh, dinesh and the team so you can have a look so now let's get into the interesting part right yeah. as a student how can you get started with this and why you should be doing actually let me tell you this thing so dinesh back then i think in the same college while there dinesh started his career with this year right dinesh yeah yes Fernando. actually uh actually i'm proud to say like i studied in kpr like while studying itself during my second year of college i thought i we need to do something extra to really survive in this thing 
so uh, we we of course we went through many topics like what to do like what we can do in this college and like that then me and my couple of friends have decided to go ahead with this particular seo field so uh, actually we uh, read a lot about seo like how what's the future it's going to be like uh, of course without seo none of the business can uh, run in the future in the coming days so then we decided to go ahead and we initially started a blog in the college we did lot of uh, like pitfalls we found lot of pitfalls in this in that blog we did we commit lot of mistakes in that blog uh, while experimenting lot of things and of course uh, over a period of time we learned many things and uh, ideally we, ra- we rank for many keywords during the college time itself so later uh, we got connected with fernando and we, it's it's how it's all how it started yeah so as even a student this little presentation what we did hope you got some idea seo is going to last till as long as google is going to google is going to be in business for a long time and when it comes to online advertising in the digital economy google is one, like like the most powerful powerful business so being able to facilitate the players which is the which are the business owners which is you even if you think you want to start a blog you want to start a business you want to do a like of a different service is as you can really help you a lot so that's one of the reasons as a student you should be trying to get started learning it read about it look at youtube videos we are giving you access to these um, these links are there go through it you can have very deep in depth reading about what are private blog networks how it is used in seo i have a complete step by step video tutorial stand just access to this url and you can see that one and when you actually get an understanding that one i can tell you like probably you are some of you all know or have started a blog if you not starting a blog is one of the best things you can do it while in uni because that can be like a one of your hobbies you can you can share your knowledge you can read it you can experiment it you can write content according to those seo terminal seo techniques and see whether they are ranking get some traffic it's a, it's a pretty much of a fun thing i started my first blog when i was doing a, a job i was full time working back in 2013 i was actually starting so that led to me starting a blog was uh, my own uh, blog was what led to me gaining knowledge i started writing about seo or things that i learned visitors starts coming so that really opened me a lot of path really and also in the dinesh case as he said he learned seo while in the college and he because of his skills he he uh, he met with me and then of course all these things work and uh, here we are so it's is a really good skill set that you can learn which is not really hard if you do the reading and if you start practicing it and of course by starting a blog you can apply your own seo and if you're in a college i highly recommend you try to start your own own blog really there are a lot of platforms even free platforms paid platforms but try your best to do it with your own domain and learn it by your example so my recommendation is to always start a wordpress blog because it's the most easiest to use uh, content uh, publishing um, tool and uh, if you le- want to learn how to start a blog uh, just google sikahost uh, and or else go to this particular uh, the course which is actually completely free just only you put your email and the name you just go inside and then all the videos are done by me and dinesh and um, and it talks you how to create a website how to do a blog how to actually do the all these things the backlinks and things like that right so the to get started a blog we have a through our hosting company an easy solution a seeker panel and if you decide to start a blog you need a domain name and wordpress hosting you can actually check it down which i will show in in a minute and uh, when you get started learning seo it's pretty interesting when you know when you can rank a website on the first page get some traffic people are inquiry people asking some questions which is a pretty interesting thing so once you learn if you learn about the the seo and 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 start your own blog then it comes to about of course why would you do blogging if you're not making money some people might have questions like uh how can i buy that paid tool so for that you need to make money so there are ways to monetize your own blogs one of the oldest and the ways till people do is google adsense however how it works is you need to get a lot of traffic for that you need to do seo files you need to learn seo perfectly use private blog networks link building all these techniques to get the traffic once you have the traffic you can use google adsense i'm not going to go into detail about google adsense just drop google what is google adsense into google and you will read that one it's basically dropping ads on your website and the traffic who comes to your website clicks on it and google pays 68% of that 
bidder's money to you. So which is a pretty good one. However, it depends on traffic. So if you're good at SEO, you can really thrive in that. And then there is a very easy one called selling guest posts. So when you build those private blog networks for SEO, there are other people in the SEO community who like to buy guest posts. So you saw the London Business News and these blogs. These All these blogs, if you go, you can see people actually pay and buy publications on these blogs. So that's how these blogs are making hundreds or thousands of dollars each month. All these blogs are making a lot of money each month and uh, you can get a good understanding visit those blogs and you will see each of the blog is making at least a thousand dollars and plus some are making even way more some are less so likewise we have hundreds of blogs are uh, clicked to manage users for seo and the seo community experts consultants buy guest post on those blogs and that way the company makes money so its entire concept is explained in this blog for profit blueprint I actually, I don't know whether I have actually put the free code, but I will pass it on to Mohan Raj. So he can even pass the, the code for anybody to access this course for free completely. I've done seven videos breaking down exactly how this block for profit, uh, the concept works. So pretty interesting course, very simple to understand. I personally done it showing exactly how I go about finishing building a blog, what pages to be added and this. I'll give the, the code for you all. You can get it from Mohan and then uh, access that. But then comes the thing called affiliate marketing, promoting other people's products. So to get a commission, I this is this is something a lot of bloggers in India are doing. Probably most of you guys have heard it, which is completely tough. If your SEO is good and if your website needs knows how to rank on the first page of Google using backlinks from private blog network, just posting. This is more of not like paid. If your organic SEO is good, this, this affiliate marketing is a pretty good one. And that's one of the ways to make money. However, the first two are much easier. And the number two is one of the easiest way any blogging, any student can actually go about and make a couple of hundred minimum. You watch this, uh, the course, free course I have done. I nicely explain how this one particular blog makes over 6,000 pounds, I think. And uh, it's called the UK Business Blog which is number one ranking. If you just Google right now, UK business blog, it's actually ranking number one on Google. That particular blog, I'm showing how it makes money every single day, almost every hour, right? So that's how as a student, you can get started. I highly advise you to get started with this thing. So these are the links I have, how we want to help you for completely to after this presentation, you can take your knowledge to the next level and uh, and go about uh, learning it. So all these links are there. These are free to access. Only this one, I think I have to give the code, which I will drop the code um, after the presentation. And then you all can access it. Just put your name and put the co code and access. These two are just easy to get started and start learning. If you go through these two courses completely for free, you will have a very good understanding and uh, we can assure that you you can start a career in SEO. Who knows, one day you might even work in it, click do really. So we also have the, the private blog network specialist certification. If anybody thinks like you want to go through and learn into further, but you can read more details, of course, about it. These are completely free of charge, the things. So, and then when it comes to creating private blog networks, domains and things like that, we have built uh, easy solution called Seeker Host app. All you guys uh, can go to Seeker Host app right now and have a look. Just get an understanding. This is the this is the platform. Search for your domain name. Maybe create a free account and just go inside. I will. Uh, I'll quickly show you. Uh, I think we we are having some. Uh, oh yes, we will share the the presentation, um, Harini. So uh, we will share that one and uh, let me quickly, uh, what happened, uh, share the screen and uh, let me come here. So you all just saw that this is the Seacost app, which you can read all the things. I have a further knowledge. This video also explained to you about it and this is the inside and everything. Just, just create an account and and go inside and even you can right now i'll just drop you this link just create a free account go inside search for domains i highly recommend you to read this particular article what is a private blog network and i have a master class over here which explained to you less than a half an hour the complete concept about how puppy and seo worked until yes last year actually i did that one and it, it's for the 
it will give you a full understanding the entire private block network concept in a much more micro level because we were kind of going on about vast areas we were covering but you can cover it read this article and you will completely have a very good understanding today what we try to cover about the concept private blog network so i dropped this link also so you all can actually go there so and uh, create an account here very easy thing just a free account create you can see this is a thing i have a section called pbn demystified which goes into very detail if you really want to dive into private blog network all these are completely free go about how to build a pbn how to earn with it i have some videos these videos exactly show in a live example how people send the email what emails to be sent how the people make money as a student if you go through this one you can actually make a nice side income doing something that you're enjoying like it involves things like content writing and their ceo which is not that anybody can't do it anybody can do it you can you probably already writing in english or else you can write in hindi for the for the blogging concept all you need is to write content it will come a time when you are making money you can hire others to write but initially i i did it dinesh did it so all these things are covered with this thing once you create a free account on the seekhost.app you will come into this section if you ever want to use this one for domain names registrations get a domain name registering expired domains all these things can be uh, done here very easy solution custom build solution you can actually do that one if you ever want domains but try to go through this pb and dbg5 section which will really cover you the entire thing which we try to cover in a one hour's time so uh, that's it pretty much and uh, i hope you got a good understanding about the thing you can ask us any questions right now we're happy to take any more questions or else uh, anything that we can explain we, we try to cover as much as possible about the private block network and how the seo works and why you should really get started mohan uh, yes sir uh, participants you have the access to ask the questions you can directly unmute and ask uh, i think there is one question from harini so yeah we offer uh, she is asking like whether we are offer training actually we have a lot of courses in our uh, platform like sikahost university you can find like seo training course blogging course lots of things uh, we are offering for free we are not charging for uh, this webinar uh, attendees so if you need to really learn you can uh, we will share the links you can just sign up and uh, learn the courses yeah actually uh, any questions so uh, i can see a lot of questions but uh, I share training course link share training course link i have shared for so receiving the useful so of course yes everything will be useful and gone and yeah everybody who who listen what i can actually really tell try to visit seekhost.app play with it go inside it and spend the time some time in the pb and demystified section where you can really understand in more detail several levels you need to allocate to go through it and you can be a private blog network expert and even get the certification if you ever want uh, as in the link i showed to you all uh, how you can actually get certified even if you ever want as a career to do that but all i can say go through it learn it practice it get started with at least a one blog start learning seo it's such a good skill for the future where you can you can start a career path even if you want to do uh, do that you say so she's asking when we'll receive the, you, to receive the certificate you need to go through and finish the pb demystified all the the subjects and the stuff and then if you go to that particular link uh, in this page it will have all the information uh, for you about it right so uh, it will have example of this uh, I will drop it to you if you want to get this certification go through fill the form and finish that as exactly it's been shown and then you can inquire you'll get the certificate so, so, uh, so I, I need to add something to the students yeah uh, so basically i hope like a lot of uh, users who are in this webinar are mostly students so as yeah. a student uh, maybe you may be in second year or third year but if you are planning to do something in your college uh, if you are interested in this field then of course this is the best field you can uh, explore more in the future you can just simply like you can start your own blog if you are in, not, not in a, any niche it can be in any niche if you are interested in cooking then you can start your own cooking blog and start writing about the cooking things and of course you can uh, do keyword research based on that cooking uh, ideas and 
put the best blog posts on the other hand if someone is interested in sports blog you can just create a sports uh, related blog and start uh, publishing posts so as a student like blogging you can have it as a hobby like you can publish one post after your college timings and you can just work on it because this is this is how i started my career and i worked on this blogging and later entered into the seo field uh, as a full time so as a student this is the best thing to do during your college like college time uh it, you can take it as a hobby and you can uh, work it because it's an interesting field and once you started seeing the your website ranking for the particular terms in google then you will get boosted and you will start working more so this is how it functions and uh, it's up to you to learn the skills because at seacoast university we offer all the courses for free uh, for the this uh, webinar people and you can just uh, we are happy to share our knowledge if you need any personal things and we, we are happy to explore what you uh, would like to go ahead so just if, if you are interested you can just start your own blog even the seacoast app offers the free opportunity to create a blog like uh, i hope like fernando we can offer some domains right yeah we can offer some if some like 10 people actually willing to yeah. start the thing we can offer it you know for free yeah. you know if people are serious they are willing so yeah inquire with mohan about it and but all the resources we given last in is said get started you know don't go through and get started and learn from today evening what you watch otherwise what you learn will pass out you know in few days time so try to spend some time tonight and uh, maybe create an account with this you know sign in and read some further so you will get a good idea and try to learn search and optimization which is a really important skill in digital marketing if you become want to become a digital marketer but that's a good career you know you from all your things that you are learning that's a really good skill set to have yeah yes sir i think all 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 are we covered a lot of things sir yeah Uh, sir, this is a uh, Rishi from uh, Ramakrishna College of Arts and Science. Yeah. Would you have a small doubt, sir? Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, I have created a website using HTTP. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, doesn't have any SSL certificate, sir. Does that affect any SEO rankings, sir, in Google? Yeah. Uh, you should get SSL. Google really told about it even last year. You need to have SSL to become a SEO because you know most of the people are using the Google Chrome browser. Yes, and if it shows like it's not having a ssl certificate it's not a good sign and if you really look other than if you are like a small niche like businesses are not competing you need to have a ssl certificate and especially if you just uh, register or the move the domain to seekhost app it's just free ssl certificates are free it's it's a part of like it's just activating you know even wherever you use where where, where did you use um, you used to you, do you register Sorry, domain Sir, I created website doctor r v a c dot a c dot i n. Okay, so you but don't that, have SSL certificate yet. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's just uh, created by uh, it. Has, it has now been one month, sir. Yeah. But does it that doesn't have a SSL certificate? And now it's not. I I I would certificate. say try to get the SSL certificate. It's you do not have to pay for that. You know, I know the some of the host or the registrars might try to charge you for that. But no, if so, don't because we we at Seekhost we offer the SSL certificate which is for free. Okay, so get the SSL certificate, activate it, and um, try to ask where you register the domain or the host, and tell you want the SSL certificate. If they say they can't go, you move it to seek a host. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, sir. So, okay, that's what, sir. Okay, then. Thanks. You need the questions from participants. looks like we covered all the things yes sir hi fernando sir i'm bro so yeah, right. there is a question from the participants in that uh, uh, means we have been circulated a registration form there they have been host a few questions yeah so the first question is about suggest me the best niche best niches yeah. niche Okay. okay so they probably asking to suggest the best niches to start a blog in the blogging career yeah there, there are many niches so if according to what we explain if you think you want to start a blog to make money i think in the business niche so in the business niche op- keep it up open to general business because especially if you to earn money from this uh, guest posting uh, service business like which we explain selling guest post and all the business and the new niche is really good 
right? So in general, it's very open and wide. However, you can score a lot really when it comes to monetization. And there are other niches really like very niching it down, you know, so so it depends with the thing what your skill is about also because it's not just like there are niches in the jewelry niche there are niches in like like there are rising niches a lot of people are really these days going cryptocurrency but can you write about that that's one, one the important thing the cryptocurrency blogs are very high in demand a lot of money can be made if you know how to research and write about the cryptocurrency is a very rising niche if you in the this private blog network is your community if you can build this uh the cryptocurrency cbd is some of the niche not i don't know how long it will go and things like that but those are those are niches but then it comes down it's not that the niche it's basically can you facilitate that niche with the knowledge you have so just say the niche is so high in demand so cryptocurrency right so if you say bitcoin is very high in if your blogs are in bitcoin if you can rank bitcoin blogs posts you're going to make a lot of money but can you write about it so if so if you can amazing niches cryptocurrency digital assets uh, and uh, those those are the niches and it, it really depends it comes to whether you will enjoy operating and that niche so if you say you you are into arts and the stuff yes it's better off you are starting blogs in arts even though it's not the most money money niche really it's not ever right but if if your skill is high you can still go and thrive in that particular niche and the other niches are really open the tech niches are really big so starting a tech blog always good really you know tech blogs are always having the demand you know the future is tech so when it's you start a tech blog niche you can cover smartphones pcs uh, amazon products so many things really so electronics so if I detail very, very big niches are like cryptocurrency, the tech niche, the CBD niche is there. Then it comes to uh, oh, the business niche, which is very open, very opportunity wise, very high. And then home and home and lifestyle, really. So, yeah, celebrity and there are niches like that. Not very easy to monetize because there are monopolies already making a lot of money in that. So, so yeah, when, those are the niches that I could actually tell. Okay. Uh, can you tell tell me about what is an influencing marketing and how would you be saying about your views? Influencer marketing, right? So influencer marketing is basically using like, so, you know, like people pay for celebrities to promote the brand. So that's basically influencer marketing. It's very powerful. It's, it's, the, it's the thing really, you know, because say I, I, I get an influencer like uh, Dhoni to promote Seekerhost. That's influencer marketing. It all comes down to can I pay his price really? So influencer marketing is very powerful. It's like the most powerful. If your product is good, every brand should be doing influencer marketing. However, it's extremely cost. It's not just pay, like paid ads, Google ads, and organic SEO and things like It's extremely cost. So if you can get um, one of the biggest celebrities in India, right? Just to um, Abita Bachchan to say like, this college is really good. Game over, right? So that's influencer marketing, very powerful concept. Future is future will always be there. Influencers can create massive awareness plus a buying behavior for the particular brand. So, so it's say like there's a top blogger. So we do we use influencers. So we use top bloggers to uh, to 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 promote our hosting products, domains, and things like that. So influencer marketing is. It's not just in the future, it's been there and it's really big and it's only getting bigger really. And, and it, it can always, always make an impact if the influencer is having a good interaction on their social and the web, web channels. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. There is a question from Sri Hari in the chat section who we asked about how Google yeah. Search works on and make use of it. How, no, I didn't get you. How? Uh, Fernando, I will take over this question. Oh, you I take over that question. Yeah, 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 I think it's about Google schema. So okay. I'll share my screen and I'll show you in real time. Yeah, okay. So basically, uh, Google script in the sense, I hope he's asking about Google schema. So I will uh, search for one of our clients' uh, things, same day. So if I search this particular keyword, same day rubbish remove London, 
you can see like one of our client is ranking here with star you can see like uh, one of the extra feature appearing in the search results like the star showing some ratings so this is called uh, schema in google when it comes to seo this comes under on page seo like showcasing your website with some additional features like uh, showing reviews showing uh, extra questions like that so for this for this to appear in the google search results you need to uh, implement one of the factor called uh, review schema in your on page website so it, it we need to work on the back end content uh, in the back end coding part and we need to add that this is one of the schema review schema example so even i will show you one more example yeah so this is one of our, our another client quick cleaning so for this keyword you can see like they are showing extra search results like faq under their uh, actual result so this is called faq schema so uh, you can see this is a review schema and this is called faq schema so like this there are lots of schema uh, uh, google offers lots of structured data and schema which uh, website uh, owners can utilize and implement in their website to uh, show like extra features in their google search results so these two are the just real time examples i'm sharing still like this there are a lot of uh, schema uh, available uh, in the google thing so uh, for this you need there is a separate thing called schema.org uh, so this is the platform where you can find resources to implement such schema in your own website so they the, in this particular website they have proper documentation of like how to implement these terms into the website and make them appear like these kind of reviews reviews to appear in the search results so anyone watching this you can just go through this url even we will drop some resources to implement these things and uh, show in the search results yeah so any other questions thank you so much and uh, that is uh, one another last question so how do digital marketing agencies will get to know about the expired domain how do we get to know this Inish, can you answer that yeah definitely so again uh, so basically there are a lot of platforms uh, where you can go and search for expired domains so one is our own platform called seekerhost so in seekerhost we have a separate section for expired domains so if you need to find expired domains you can just uh, come come into this particular section uh, we will drop this uh, url later and you can come here and you can just uh, find some expired domains you can see like our team is already working on this uh, 24 by 7 and updating this list regularly so you can see like these are the domains which are uh, already available to register and work for example if you need this particular domain you can just get register this domain and create a blog in this uh, domain itself so this is an expired domain with uh, which you can build so this is uh, this is our own platform where you can find the expired domains so like this there are a lot of platforms even one more platform is like expeddomains.net so this is another platform where you can find the expired domains for free you no need to pay anything so here you can just go for uh, just create an account in this and just search for the domain uh, keyword and you will, uh, this uh, tool will already list the possible uh, available domains in this thing so i already have account in this for example if you need a, a domain in the name in the name of cryptocurrency you can just search for crypto maybe if you need in the .co.uk extension you can have like this so you can you can see these are the domains uh, which are already uh, available for registration so these are all our expired domains uh, you, you can see the status are available you can it will show the status as well so if you need like you, i have searched for crypto.co.uk so this tool already listed the list of available expired domains in this particular name so these are the some of the tools which you can use and find the expired domains but i recommend seekerhost because here already the job is done they have listed the best domains so that's the thing yeah so my Any question way? is how how yes. you guys will know about uh, these domains are expired then how you are listing into your website uh, basically we use some uh, paid tools to find the domains and for example if we list this tool we will directly check in our own website we'll, uh, so this domain should be available if someone is registered it may not be available but i'll show you so i'm just copying this domain name search it on seekers.app yeah on oh, no. so i'm just directly okay. dropping here and just going to search here so you can see like it will show whether this domain is available or not it will take like some time actually this domain is uh, already uh, took by some people so since we have listed this today it's already took by some people so if you are planning to buy expert domain you should be very quick 
So I will go for some other domain. No, anyway, they got the idea already. So that's how basically you have to do a little bit of a thing because people quickly register that and um, try to get it. And we have some videos about expired to domain evaluation. You know, it's not just getting the expired domain. You have to look for the power of it. So basically, Dinesh, I think like these are like added in the morning and yesterday's yeah. and all. So it yeah. will not be there. So yeah, we can I think... move forward to the next relay. Okay. It's just an easy, easy option. Also, you all can use the seekerhost.app to register the domains, which is, if you think so, which is the easier solution for, for domain registration and things like that, which I have dropped the link. All visit this one. As I said, create an account and the stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, we are open to take the next questions. Any questions? Are, is it over now? Or? Uh, sir, uh, myself, I'm having my question. Okay. Uh, so in SERP, there are many ranking factors like page yeah. speed, domain authority, etc. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every organization want to rank in the first page, uh, mainly first place. Yeah. Um, th uh, there are already some three uh, ra ranking ranked websites. Uh, what will be the ranking factor? We we need to concentrate which will uh, impact these three spots. It's, it's, it's actually, as you, as you know, like, I mean, there are 200 ranking factors in Google, right? Mm -hmm. That they say, I assume even yeah. there could be more. But when you really bring to the core, it's on page and off page SEO. So it's like the person, like everybody be, want to be number one, right? But whoever practice yeah. more becomes the number one in the Olympics gold medal in 100 meters. Likewise, whoever build the perfect website build most backlinks, good backlinks, that means good references, will be chosen to be at number one. I used to be at number one for SEO consultant London for straight for three years. Then it dropped right now. It's on the top three, four, five, shuffling. But at the time when I was ranking every single day, SEO, backlinking, doing, doing social SEO things, tweaking the page, changing things when the ranks drop to number two, again, I do something. So, it's a lot of those factors are there and but it comes down to the winner who does the the good work the most really who practice the most so that's the person who will be the, winning the uh, the game it's not just only having the money of course money a business has will influence them to spend more on seo and hire the best consultant or buy more backlinks and things like that and do promotions however who does it more strategically gets the winning point and who plays with the Google ranking factors, website speed, websites content uniqueness. Does the content get changed all the time uh, frequently? Is the content relevant? Is the content updated to feed the, the user according to the particular day of they are doing the search query? So all these factors comes down to it's a very vast topic and and then very competitive niches like credit cards or banks or invest like people really play so it's a very micro thing one person will be number one but not that so business owners will come to you and say like for us like they tell like i want to be number one can you do that not really not it's doable but do you have the patience and you have the budget and are you willing to put in the hard work or else hire the person to do that to get to there so that's how it actually comes down to because we have to also understand Google is not something, our channel, they have their own policies and they, they sometimes, when all these things are done, they sometimes do a Google do update, but then some people might give up, some might not, and then they are going to win. So when you rank, when you're on the top, it really helps really. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your nice explanation. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Anything else, uh, Mohan Raj? I think, uh, hope you answered everything, sir. Finally, is everyone, anyone having any queries? Or shall we wind up the session? Yeah. Okay, then. Let's wind up the session. And thank you, yeah. everybody, for participating. And it was a good session. We could share our knowledge and the stuff. And uh, I hope you learned something. We wish you all the best. Yes, sir. Actually, they it's uh, they do, uh, it's a one and a half hours. Uh, uh, it's a full of knowledgeable session on behalf of our, of our organizing team. It's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion. Um, 
I my heart fills with lots of gratitude and respect for our distinguished guest speaker, Mr. Fernando Raman and Mr. Dinesh Kumar VM for not only sparing their invaluable time, but uh, and also gracing this occasion um, and explaining the queries uh, raised by the audience. And also I thank uh, our management, KPR management, uh, Principal Dr. M. Akila, Head of the Department, uh, Dr. P. Tangaraj, Department colleagues, um, our awesome team, uh, app website and social media team, external participants, uh, uh, for their active uh, participation throughout the session. And uh, finally, um, initially, when we thank for, when we, are, when we asked for this webinar, Mr. Fernando uh, graciously uh, accepted this uh, request. And I also thank Dinesh Kumar for doing all the promotions for us and getting this, these kind of audiences. I once again thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, then. Okay, then, everyone. Bye. Uh, hope we meet in, uh, in uh, another uh, trending topic sir, soon. Yeah. Okay, then. Welcome. Okay. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you.